Hi and uh, welcome back uh, to my channel. Uh, this episode is the continuation of the previous one uh, where I um, gave my first impressions on the SDG 1032X uh, Siglent Arbitrary Waveform Generator. So I'm very happy about this device and uh, I expressed this uh, happiness in, uh, in my first impression uh, video. But there was uh, just a little bit that bugged me a little bit uh, and it was the fact that uh, according to the measurements I did uh, the harmonic distortion was uh, in the range from 1 MHz to 10 MHz, so this range here. I measured a distortion of minus uh, 55 dBc, uh, rather than minus 60 as uh, written in the data sheet, okay? So um, it's not a big deal really, but um, I went to the EV blog uh, to ask uh, for opinions, so if other people had uh, the same results, and uh, just to know if this was out of specs for some reasons. And I got some good feedbacks, so I understood where I was making a mistake in the measurement. So the unit is in fact uh, uh, completely within a specification, and I want to discuss this uh, in this video just to explain my mistakes and, uh, you know, just for the sake of, uh, of completeness. So at the moment, uh, just as in the previous video, the, um, the unit is producing a 5 MHz uh, uh, sinusoidal wave um, at uh, 0 dBm. Okay, and this is reflected here in the spectrum analyzer. So we get our peak, at, uh, so the spectrum analyzer at the moment is uh, spanning, as you can see, from 100 kilohertz to 35 megahertz. So here I, mm, you know, uh, produce the output of the spectrum analyzer in the computer so you can view it uh, properly. And uh, so yes, the peak is uh, where it's expected at around uh, uh, 5 megahertz. And the first harmonics, as we can see, uh, if, we, if I do a delta marker, is at 10 MHz and it is uh, uh, 55, 56 dB down. So this, uh, according to specification, should be minus 60, right? And the same happens if I instead uh, take, for example, a 10 MHz. So let me do that, 10 MHz. And uh, now the peak is at 10 MHz and if I... Uh, get a delta marker, I get to the first harmonics at 20 MHz with just uh, uh, minus 53 uh, dB, okay? So this is the same measurement I had in uh, my previous video. And uh, so basically the problem is that the signal here is too strong. Um, so it's coming out from this unit is too strong. And when it enters the, to the spectrum analyzer, the spectrum analyzer is basically a mixer. Uh, and so this mixer can, of course, create its own distortions in the harmonics. So the solution to this uh, is to play around with uh, the attenuation. So here you can see at the moment that we have 10 dB of attenuation. If I increase uh, this attenuation, I'm going to manual, and here attenuation to 20 dB. Uh, let me see what happens. So um, our carrier is, uh, so let me do peak search. Our carrier is still at uh, 0 dB, right? It's right, minus uh, 0 0.01, so it's perfect. But, uh, but then uh, the, the first harmonics now is minus 57. So it went down a little bit, okay? So let's uh, increase again uh, the attenuation. So the point of this attenuation is to get uh, down the input of the, um, of the spectrum analyzer, so coming from here, to a sweep a sweet uh, spot that the spectrum analyzer likes, okay? So now we are attenuating uh, 20 dB, so the signal is uh, entering the spectrum analyzer at minus 20 dB. So let's go uh, attenuate a little bit more to 30 dB. And uh, so let me see, peak search, uh, we get our 0 dB, and uh, with a delta marker, I can go here and observe uh, that we are at minus 60. So this is within uh, specifications, okay? And uh, in fact, I can uh, do uh, even more attenuation. And uh, let me go to 40, uh, 40 dB. And um, now the noise floor, wh whenever I increase uh, the, um, the attenuation, of course, the noise floor goes up, okay? So at the moment, if I do a peak search, I still get my main signal at um, 10 megahertz, but uh, the noise floor is, uh, if I do a delta marker, the noise floor is uh, 52, uh, 54 dB down. Uh, so, um, you know, 
we cannot measure really the, the harmonics. And to solve this, I can simply zoom uh, on the 10 megahertz where the first harmonic is. So let me uh, change the center frequency to 10 megahertz. Let me put the span to, let's say, uh, 100 kilohertz just to have. Um, and here we get, uh, we can see our harmonics. And if I measure the, um, Mm, so let me see, uh, marker, normal marker, if I measure, sorry, this is our main signal, sorry, yeah, that's why I was confused for a second, this is the 10 megahertz, so the harmonics should be at 20 megahertz, so let me go there, 20 megahertz, and there it is, at uh, minus uh, 62 dBm, okay, so it is indeed uh, 60 dB down, um, right, let me try with uh, 5 megahertz, for example, so 5 megahertz now the harmonics at 20 megahertz which would be the fourth harmonics for a 5 megahertz signal has completely disappeared let me go to the second harmonics so that's going to be at 10 megahertz and it's there at minus 65 the 64 65 so at 5 megahertz you get a minus uh, 60 uh, 65 uh, dbc so that's completely um, you know, within uh, specifications. So it should be minus 60. In fact, it's even better than that. It's minus 65. And uh, so let me try just for the sake of completeness to also put one megahertz. So one megahertz. Uh, let me go then to the second harmonics, uh, to the first harmonics, which is going to be at uh, two megahertz. So two uh, megahertz. And there it is at minus 66. So again, uh, this the unit is in fact uh, better than the uh, specification, which is great. By the way, this is not surprising. I, I was a bit surprised when I found out that uh, in my previous video that uh, this unit did not meet the specifications because this, uh, when it is sold, comes with a certificate of calibration. So it, in theory, it has gone through all the tests to make sure this is calibrated. And the certificate says that uh, this is going to stay calibrated at the very least until the end of 2020. So yeah, I was a bit surprised, but indeed, it is the case that it is uh, not only calibrated, but it is better than uh, specs. And I just wanted to say something more that I didn't mention last time. This is not just an arbitrary waveform generator. It has also a frequency counter on the back. So that's why I put uh, this old frequency counter that uh, here, because it has a uh, port at uh, the, uh, the front, uh, which is handy. This uh, only has an input for the counter at the back, but uh, this can reach only 80 megahertz, this can reach uh, 200 megahertz. So let's see this in action. I'm going to zoom a little bit uh, here, so I hope you can see. Uh -huh. So let me see, I'm going to disable now the spectrum analyzer output. I hope you can have a look yeah so it should be kind of okay so here I have uh, oh yeah I should uh, show this first I have my hacker F uh, that was the topic of many of my videos it is now using the porta pack extension with the signal generator utility so I'm basically going to use this as a signal generator to test the frequency counter there uh, so I'm going to emit now, so let me go to frequency counter. So uh, let me see if I can get a bit closer. Okay, so maybe here now you can read. So to get to the counter, I go to utility uh, counter. So let me read it. At the moment, the HRF is outputting a signal at 10 megahertz. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this unit is reading uh, 9 megahertz, 999663. So the HRF, uh, uh, is out of uh, about 40 hertz uh, compare at the very least compared to this so I don't have a, a 10 megahertz reference like a GPS a discipline a, a clock or something like that to check which of the two units is um, is telling the truth basically or w which one is closer to 10 megahertz but anyway uh, this uh, counter is very nice because it shows you it takes many samples for the, at the moment we have uh, 10 23 24 samples and uh, it takes uh, many measurements as you can see here we have the mean and here we have the standard deviation so you see uh, the clock of the HRF and this clock for that matter are pretty stable because the standard deviation is now just uh, is very very small it's 100 in the order of millihertz okay 
so smaller than a, than a hertz so yeah and if i put so this uh, is currently at 10 uh, megahertz let me go up and i'm going now to put uh, 50 megahertz so let me clear the statistics okay now it's going to uh, 50 megahertz as you can see now the the error is about i hope you can see it's of about uh, two kilohertz and um, if i move now to let me see let's get closer to the limit so 190 so let's see how it goes uh no at 190 this is now reading just one megahertz and a half so i'm not sure if it is a problem of the akaref as a signal generator let me try to increase a little bit the gain of this uh, akaref with portapack oh yes okay increasing the gain now the signal is uh, sufficiently strong to be read by this counter and it is indeed now reading uh, 190 so let me increase the gain uh, even a bit more to 35 okay and so let me try to get to 200 which is the limit of this uh, counter at least on, uh, on paper yes we get our 200 here and um, yeah let me actually reset uh, the statistics so we can see the standard deviation of 200 just to to see how the accurate perform so it's on the order of uh, after five six seven samples in on the it's on the other two hertz so really really a stable uh, clock and so let me try now to increase a little bit uh, this frequency let's see what is the limit of uh, the siglent let me try with 220 just to try okay still reading so although the specified uh, limit is 200 megahertz it's actually uh, reading uh, with some accuracy also at 220 let me try 250 yes okay 250 yes there we are excellent so let me try this point 300 megahertz okay i just inputted 300 megahertz and it looks like no it's not managing so it's reading 253 so this is above uh, the capabilities of this instrument so i would say that the limit uh, the real limit is uh, 250 mega so let me actually try to put 250 done uh, let me clear here and we get our 250 minus something due to the slight difference in, in clocks so let me just uh quickly check if indeed uh, the specification say 200 or to, uh, 200 megahertz or 250 just uh, for curiosity uh, where is it uh, uh, so it must have uh, characteristics uh, harmonics modulation frequency counter uh, yeah it's it did say uh, 200 megahertz uh, but instead it works up to 250 so this is really great news uh, so once again even after this uh, good news I'm uh, even more happy about this unit and uh, I will use it in, uh, in my experiments pretty soon thank you very much bye bye